So my first visit to a dirt cart hog was in 2009. And uh, at that stage we were learning about how cats moved across the island and uh, in just in a smaller component than the, uh, the whole program that we're working now. The program itself on Hartog is looking excellent. We're looking to uh, have a, a period of two years with nil detections of cats that, uh, that would then give us sufficient confidence to say to the next team that there are no cats on the island and it's uh, then a, a good time to start bringing the native wildlife back onto the island. Uh, back in 2009, in November, uh, Dirk Hardog Island was declared a national park, which gave us the opportunity to eradicate cats from the island. Uh, cats were responsible, or are, have been responsible for uh, local extinction of at least 10 species on the island. Uh, so as a consequence, if new species are to be, or species to be reintroduced to the island, where you needed to eradicate cats beforehand. We estimated that there were probably 450 or thereabouts um, prior to us beginning our control activities. Uh, the pros or the program actually commenced, the field work commenced back in 2014 and culminated in eradication in 2018. So the last it was 2018 October actually. I mean, uh, there were a lot of things that worked in our favour. You always got to have a degree of luck in these sort of programs, and we were lucky. Um, but at the end of the day, yes, very cost effective. And I guess the reason for that is I had a very good, dedicated team, very enthusiastic team. And also we acknowledge the fact that the Gorgon Barrow Island Net Conservation Fund provided the funds up front for us to allow us to achieve what we've done. Uh, the Dirk Hardog project, uh, it's the largest globally uh, island eradication of feral cats, so always looking very promising.